G'day, my name's James, uh, up here for the weekend with the Rambler guys. Uh, came up with my Graphite 79 that the guys built. Uh, very happy with the service and everything that these guys provided for me. Uh, after sales, if there's any questions, I just flicked Aaron a message and yeah, it's, nothing's ever a problem. What made you choose Rambler? Was we go with Rambler when you bought the vehicle? Um, so, yeah, so I had, had a cruiser before, uh, lost that in the Lismore floods. Just sort of searching around and I, I kind of needed someone that would just build it for me so I could pretty much just a turnkey package and just, yeah, I, I didn't have time to be doing a lot of things. So, um, yeah, it was really good. Just inquired through car sales and, um, yeah, Darren got back to me pretty quickly and, yeah, the rest is history. Yeah, you can't beat not working on vehicles on the weekend. Just, she's, uh, she's She's all done already and you hop in and you can actually go away and enjoy it. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Well, we, we wanted something for towing our van. Um, we have a pretty hectic lifestyle with work and um, yeah, we, just, we need, need a tow vehicle and yeah, very happy with the, the base that it is, but obviously there's a few limitations with the 79, so um, yeah, need GVM upgrade, need those bits and pieces to to help with the tow process. So it's got uh, the 3950 GVM upgrade, which obviously these vehicles need for towing. By the time you put the five of us and a tank of juice and then a bit of our gear in the back, yeah, you're, you're pretty much limited with what you can do. Very happy with the ride. Um, rode really well. We came up through the Lions Road um, from Woodenbong and uh, yeah, pretty windy, yeah, handled it very easily. Is that what made you choose a 70? Like just basically weights and stuff or like you? Oh, I'd always liked them. Um, had a couple of other dual cab, um, you know, those smaller size vehicles and you know, they just, yeah. They towed the van okay, but I just wanted something a bit more beefy. Um, yeah, boys love them as well. So it's hard to go past the V8. <laughs> yeah, that too. So, yeah, got a very good sound. Um, yeah, plenty of power. Oh, not a lot of power out of the factory, but um, yeah, there's a small tune in it at the moment um, until there's a clutch upgrade and a few more modifications down the track. But yeah, still. Yeah, very happy with how it is. Uh, we've got the half canopy so that we can put push bikes or a bit of timber or um, today we've put our swags and our six by three in the back for a uh, decent camping trip away just with me and the boys. We've got a battery set up in there as well so we can run our fridge and a few lights. That's the kind of all we need for, for what we're doing. Uh, Cause yeah, we basically live out of our van when we're away. How did you actually hear about Rambler? Originally through car sales and then, um, yeah, just sort of looked up the website, looked up um, some YouTube videos, and yeah, was pretty impressed with, with the offering that was available and the different customization that you could do with the different bits and pieces, you know, to suit what we wanted. Um, you know, everybody's different and everyone has a different need for, for what they want on their car. Yeah, it's always interesting seeing how people deck out their builds, like what suits them, because like you said, everyone's just friggin' completely different in, in the way they camp, in the way they live. Yeah, oh, just the, the flexibility with the canopy, um, the basically, you know, inside's relatively standard. Got the X bar, got the bull bar, side rails and steps snorkel and the roof rack, so pretty standard sort of gear that most people put on them. So you're happy with all your dealings with Rambler? Yeah, yep, very happy, couldn't, yeah, no, nothing was ever a, a problem. Um, in the build process, Darren was sending me regular pictures and updates of where we were at. Um, he was obviously my main contact. If there's anybody that's looking for a build, 
uh, yeah, absolutely zero hesitations in recommending the Rambler guys for something like this or, or any other vehicles that they do out of their workshops. Uh, very happy.